everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was thinking, actually I was watching Hobby Doc Bay and she mentioned pictures and it brought to my mind something that I wanted to talk about with you concerning Alzheimer's. My mother had Alzheimer's, she also had dementia, but she had Alzheimer's and because she couldn't remember a lot of people she never knew who Jim was. He, for a while, he was this boy that she took in, and he slept in the barn. It was The reason that she took him in is the neighbor had a bunch of kids, and the, their relative couldn't take care of this boy, so they asked my mom if she would take care of the boy. Well, they needed another farmhand, so they took in the boy, but he had to sleep in the hay, hay in the barn. And he used to eat, I guess, a whole loaf of bread himself. And my mother used to make six loaves of bread at a time. And that's how that's who she thought Jim was. Then one day she said, well, who is that handsome young man? And I said, that's my husband. And she went, ah! Oh! And she thought, oh, wow, he was handsome. Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is my mom, because she had a hard time remembering who people were, I made her books. This is one of the books. And, oh, this one's the wrong one. There's, I made her books. I made her three books, actually. This book. And what I did is, this is a picture of my mom. That's what my mom looked like. That was when she before she had moved to the home. And what I did is I had rel my family relatives. I would put... Like, my brother Joe and Diane are in this one, but Anita's in there too. But I also put who their children are, because she couldn't remember who the children were and who they were married to. So I did that for, for all, of, all of the family, like this, my brother Laurel and his wife, and then those are their children. And um, grandchildren, I think, no. no. Yeah, no, there's some yeah, grandchildren there's some there. Of them. Like, um... Then there would be my brother Anthony. I'm showing you my family. Mm -hmm. And his children and his son-in-law, daughter-in-law, I mean, daughter-in-laws, because he had only boys. Mm -hmm. And the grandchildren, what their names were, they're all older now, mm -hmm. much older. Then there was my family and all of us, and who um, Jessica was married to, and who the little babies were. The babies were Abigail. Oops. Was, I can tell. Wait a minute. Abigail is up here. She's kind of pouty. And Brianna. Where is Brianna? Oh, she's over side. here. Brianna. And that's Emily. Everybody knows Emily. Wow. And, of course, my sister Anita and her boys and her husband. And then, of course, the names of them over here so that she knew who they were when she looked at it. And then there was my sister Lucy and her children. Are all her children there? No. No, no she's no. missing a girl. Yeah. She's missing one girl there in the picture. The oldest. But I put all of her family on this page so that she would know who they were. And then, of course, my Laura. And that one is bad. I don't want to show that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what my mom ended up looking like as she aged. Here she would see Brianna every week, or every day, actually, because oh. I would bring her. And so it's Mama Bertha and Brianna. Brianna's now a big girl. A very big girl. 14. Yeah, I think she's 14. And this is my mom at the home with Laura and Brianna, Brianna and, Abigail's and Abigail's down in the corner. That's it. Then also you may, here you can have that one, you also may want to, like my mother was big into church so she would have this book where she could read her prayers or look at the pictures and also because she used to be, she used to love her writing. 
she she did she has I have some of her handwriting in here and things that she wrote and she used to do actually used to do affirmations let me find the page with the affirmations she had a lot of prayers she says give thanks for little things give thanks for each day give thanks for the Lord give thanks for the family Give thanks for the friends, give thanks for the for our food, and give thanks for the will. And that was in her handwriting. Up here is where it is. I did that for her because she used to love looking at these and she would read the prayer if there was a prayer, like this is the prayer to St. Bernard. And also <clears throat> because she had a hard time remembering. I did another book. She really had a hard time remembering who was who. So she used to look at this book. She used to love looking at this book. And it just says, it says who it is. It says Mama Bertha. I can't read it. What's it say? Abigail visiting Mama Bertha at St. Vincent's. Yeah. And it showed, and so there was, there was pictures of whatever was going Abigail. on. Abigail. So that she could look at them. Jessica, Michael, Laurel, and Emily. That's my children, our children. Ours. <laughs> yes. And then there was a lot of pictures of Abigail. Because Abigail, Abigail and. She remembered to have a baby. Yep. And Brianna. And that's Brianna. She knew some of the. Some of us, but she didn't know everybody. Yep, that's but I made her a book, and it also shows her 89th birthday was here and there's Jessica with Abigail and there's a picture of Abigail yep. but this is the things that you might want to do because they do forget they forget who people are I remember being there with Jessica and we had um, Brianna no no Jessica and Paige I think it was mm -hmm. Paige was just a baby and she said to me who's that girl I said mm -hmm. that's my daughter and she goes ah oh, and who's the baby I said, that's Paige. That's her daughter. She didn't know my own. She didn't recognize my children. She always recognized me, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, so if you want to help the person that they feel like they don't know people, because they really don't, but it helps them and they enjoy looking at the pictures and they enjoy reading their own writing and they enjoy looking at things that they found interesting. Did I show these yet? Not no. Yet. Nope. Oh. I wanted to show you what I was working on today. They're not done. I was trying to make a mermaid. So this is the mermaid. She doesn't have her hair or her face or her crown. And I was also making, this is another of the dolls. I made another one. But I, I they, they're, they're just so much fun. This one's not done either. But I was, I was working on them. And the thing that I wanted to tell you about these dolls is the legs are connected. You make a leg and make a leg and then you, you keep crocheting so there's no attaching those. The only thing I have to attach is the arms. Hmm. And they're really easy to do because they're, the neck, the way the neck is, you just connect it at the, at the neck and it gives it the shoulders. So that's what the talk is today about Alzheimer's and I've got my babies again. <laughs> Old people, old and, people and, and, and young people. people. Yep. And the somebody asked me what I was going to do with these dolls. I'm planning on making a little basket with a bunch of little baby dolls in it. Plus, all the other grandkids can choose a doll. They usually like to play with the stuff here, so I don't know. They may take it home or they may leave it here, but they can all choose a doll. So that's what I plan to do with these dolls, and I'm sure this I'll have to make another mm. mermaid mm. because. Paige and Brianna will both want a mermaid. They'll I'm both sure, want. Yeah. I made I made an amigurumi for 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 Paige. She wanted a unicorn, and I made one. Fine, I did that. It was a hard. That was hard. Those I won't do ever again. But these I could do again. Well, that's all there is for today. And I hope you all all had a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.